Okay, in order to uh, export to QuickTime file, the first thing you want to do is come down to your timeline where your project is and activate it, uh, but just by clicking on it. Then you want to select the tracks that you want to export. So you want to make sure all these tracks are highlighted or blue. Uh, the next thing you want to do is now uh, go to the beginning of your sequence, uh, put an in point here, put an out point at the very end. Uh, so we've marked your entire uh, project. And then we're going to go into File and Export. Uh, and we want to go into Options. And make sure that this says Export as QuickTime Movie. Uh, you'll see there's a drop down menu with a bunch of different options. QuickTime Movie is what you want. And we want to check these because uh, we just highlighted our tracks down here and created a mark in and out. So that's what Use Marks and Enable Tracks are. Uh, we want to make this custom. Uh, video and audio. Your width by height is 1920 by 1080. That's uh, HD, full resolution. And you want this to say single field and then native dimensions. Uh, once you do that, um, you're going to then click into Format Options. Go into Settings. You want to make sure this is on high. This says Current Frame, frame Rate. Keyframes automatic, data rate automatic, and you want to find a compression type. There's a whole bunch here. MPEG video is your best option for this. All right. Uh, and whoops, and this is going to be automatic. It just went back automatic, automatic, and back to high. Okay. And your filter, no filter. That doesn't, you don't want anything there. Size, this should be compressor native. You should be fine. Okay, and your settings in your audio should be 44.1 sample size 16 with two channels of audio. Prepare for internet streaming is fine. Fast start is fine. And then click OK. Click Save. And then name your project, whatever you want to name it. Um, find a place where you want to put it on your hard drive. And then go ahead and click Save. 